Do you feel henpecked by your woman? Are you getting frustrated and increasingly unhappy? Do you want a relationship power shift to happen? Then listen closely. This guide will show you why ignoring her and walking away works like nothing else you'll ever try. Before anything else, I gotta say, it's no fun being a henpecked husband or boyfriend. Been there, done that, as have many other men around the world. And by now, it's probably clear to you. You know that what you allow is what will continue. At the same time though, you're also afraid of losing her if you confront her, and she gets mad. You feel trapped, right? It's like you're imprisoned in a bad situation that's only going to get worse. Well, not anymore. I'm about to show you how to stop the henpecking. You'll turn her into a loving, supportive woman for the rest of your lives together. Yes, it's possible. I've done it myself, and so have many of the men I've helped over the last several years. And it all starts with one thing, realizing why she's the superwoman in your relationship. Yup, there's a reason why she's superwoman, and it's the key to making a relationship power shift happen in your relationship. I'll reveal the reason why in just a moment. Right now, do take a quick moment to like this guide. After you give me a like, we'll move right on to the rest of the guide. And trust me, you won't want to miss the life-changing advice you're about to get today. Ready? Then go ahead, click like, and let's get started. I'll wait. Done? Great, let's go. Here's the real reason why she's Superwoman. It's all because you, my friend, are not Superman in your relationship. It's that simple. She's Superwoman because you're not the leader of your relationship. And believe me, while women do well as leaders in the corporate world, it's not the same in romantic relationships. It's not because they can't lead a relationship. Some women can. It's just that the lack of leadership, a man's leadership, has a death-like biological effect on women and it won't matter how well she can handle a relationship. It stresses them the heck out, to put it mildly. They don't feel safe because they feel like they're in charge of security in the relationship instead of you. And so over time, the stress builds up, and to keep from going crazy, they need to release it somehow. And that's exactly where the henpecking comes from. Yup, you heard that right. Henpecking is a stress response from women who do not feel safe in their relationships. Do you get the picture now? So right now, take a quick moment to ask yourself, do you have a weak trait that may be causing all the henpecking in your relationship? Just type yes or no in the comments section below. And remember, be honest. Go on and type yes or no. I'll wait here until you do. Now, regardless, the next question is pretty obvious, right? How exactly do you stop her from being a superwoman who's killing you slowly? With kryptonite, of course. And that kryptonite comes in the form of a technique called guilt induction. And I'll show you exactly how it works in just a moment. For now, let me ask you one thing. Did you learn something new from this guide so far? If you did, then do take a moment to click the subscribe button below. That way you'll keep getting great life-changing advice for your love life. Just don't forget to click the bell icon too, so you'll get my updates as they come. Sounds good? So go ahead, click subscribe now. Afterward, I'll teach you how to save your relationship, and your sanity, with a guilt induction technique, of course. Are you in? Excellent, welcome aboard. So let me now tell you about the guilt induction technique. It all began in an online community of men who do one thing, and that's to study the female mind in love. If you've heard of Shogun Method, then you know what I'm talking about. It's a global online community of about 17,000 men who come up with game-changing discoveries in dating. And the guilt induction technique came out of a fascinating discovery. That the female mind will avoid the feeling of guilt at all costs. And when a woman is accused of something and she feels guilty about it, she goes to one of two extremes. 1. First, she either numbs herself to the guilt and pretends she's blameless, which is psychopathic, to say the least. 2. Or second, she can submit to the accuser and try to repair relations with them. The guilt induction technique pushes her to one of these two extremes. And either way, 
the power in your relationship shifts right back to where it belongs, with you. So how does it work? It all revolves around the phrase, you owe me. Here's how it works. Let's say henpecking you again, and you feel an argument coming. Instead of getting emotional or surrendering, you use the guilt induction technique. And you tell her something like, You're ungrateful, you know that? After all I do for you, you have the gall to treat me like this. That's powerful, by the way. It's an accusation that this her straight in the heart, and it's enough to make her stop and think about what you said for a long, long time. Now, if she pretends she's blameless and says something like, That's not true, I'm not ungrateful, then you can double down by presenting some evidence, like presenting Exhibit A. You can say, Oh yeah? I paid off your student loans and I didn't get so much as a thank you. Ungrateful. See how it works? Or let's say she counterattacks and says, Well, if you weren't so lazy, maybe I'd notice all the things you do for me. Then to that, you stand your ground and say, See? Ungrateful. That's what you are. Now, take note, because this is critical. You don't need to win the argument or anything. Just say your piece and let it cook. You accuse her, then you ignore her and walk away. That's how the guilt induction technique works. Do it a few more times, and you'll quickly see a change in how she treats you. She's kinder, warmer, a little more grateful even. Like a superwoman who's lost her power to kryptonite. When that happens, then congratulations! The relationship power has shifted back to you, where it rightly belongs. Your job's not done, though. It's important to reward her good behavior. Otherwise, she might use the ungrateful tag against you, and you're back to square one. So don't be an ingrate. When she treats you well, reward her in ways you know she'll appreciate. Think loving reassurance, or quality time, or a sweet, tiny gift. That's up to you. And that, my friend, is how you stop henpecking for good. Now here's a little bonus tip for you. The guilt induction technique, plus rewarding good behavior, this is a powerful relationship technique. Scientists call it the biggest relationship-changing technique of all. It's so well known that psychologists have a name for it. Fractionation. And here's my bonus tip for you. Want to build a strong, happy, lifelong relationship with your woman? Then master fractionation as soon as you can. You won't regret it, except maybe the fact that you didn't learn it earlier in your life. So here's what I'll do for you. At the last slide of this guide, I'll give you a link. You know, as a little thank you for sticking till the end of this guide. That link will take you to a special online masterclass on fractionation. All you need is to give your best email address. As soon as you qualify for the online masterclass, we'll send your invite ticket straight to your inbox. Got it? Great. So remember, if you're henpecked, bullied, or otherwise pushed around by your woman, you know what to do. Fractionate her and watch her change, for the better, right before your eyes. Try it out. Click the link and join the online masterclass now. Do it.